Hi everyone and welcome to Accounting Buddy PH and welcome to the very first video presentation of this newly created channel made with love just for you guys and since this is the first video presentation we're going to start this with a very quick introduction of accounting usually when we hear about the word accounting we often associate it with business which is correct but i'd like you to know that accounting is not for business only as a matter of fact every day in our lives we're doing some sort of accounting it's because we have different accountabilities in life. We pay, we pay for bills, for example. We pay for um, electric bills. We pay for water. We pay for telephone. We pay for internet. We also pay for taxes, for uh, rent, and others. So all of this actually deals with accounting. So anyone could really study accounting. Accounting is not only for accountants. It's not only for business persons. Even those non-accountants and non-business persons, they also can study accounting. Because take note that whenever decision-making is involved, accounting is present. However, for business persons just like you, it is very important that you know that, that you know the accounting. Because as we all know, accounting as the language of business so in order for you to actively and effectively participate and communicate in a business environment you should need to speak the language you should need to learn the language okay so now let's get to know the relationship between the business and the accounting Okay, there could be a lot of reasons why a person ventures into business. But the very reason why a person ventures into business is profit. Yes, that's it. Profit. The goal of providing employment opportunities to others is only incidental. Of course, it depends on the or it depends on how large the business is. And or how much is the capital investment and also with the nature of the business itself. So usually for small businesses which could not afford yet to hire people, it's the owner himself or herself that manages the business. And we call him or her as proprietor manager. Proprietor because he or she owns the business or he is or she is a business owner. And then manager because he or she runs or manages the business. So since the primary reason why the person enters into the business is profit, so the business owner or the proprietor will always be very interested of knowing if the business is really earning a profit or not. So he will he or she will now going to record all the uh, transactions including the income derived by the business and also the expenses incurred so this is already a simple way of accounting that the business owner could probably do but as the business grows bigger wherein the business now is involved into many transactions of course it would be now difficult on the part of the business owner to do all the recording of the transactions especially if he or she has a little knowledge in accounting so at this moment he need or he has to hire or she has to hire someone who is good who is expert in accounting and that is the accountant so now the main role of the accountant in the business is to prepare financial statements so the financial statements are the reports produced after the accounting process or simply, the financial statements are the end product of the accounting process. So basically, the recorded transactions of the business are being processed into a report called financial statements. Now, after the preparation of the financial statements, the accountant has to analyze and interpret the information in the said report and then after that this financial statements and the results of the analysis of the accountant and also the and also its interpretation will going to be communicated to the management and this will serve as a guide 
or the basis in their decision making. And analyzing the, or I mean, when studying the accounting, we need to play the role of the accountant. So this is the best way for us in order to learn the accounting. And then in addition to that, we need to study the generally accepted accounting principles. We also have to study the basic accounting assumptions and the financial statements. And we're going to talk about all of this on the next videos for now i have to end this so i hope you learned something out for this video and if you do please do make sure to share this video to your friends or to your classmates or to anybody that might be interested in accounting okay so thank you for watching